Hey everybody, and all the Lothman here of Gear It First. So, it's Halloween. Well, at least it just passed by the time this video uploads. And we do a really cool Halloween display every single year. And some of you guys asked if I could show a little bit of behind the scenes of what happens during our Halloween and how we made it happen and all that. So, here's some of the videos that I shot on Snapchat. So make sure you follow me on Snap and Instagram. But here's a behind the scenes of all the stuff my wife and I put together. So the first thing we want to do is we just kind of want to map it to that face. This is obviously a temporary thing, but... So this is a quick test. I'm just showing some of the mapping here. So obviously we got to powder the nose quite a bit there. It's a clear face. This is a test now of the Pepper's Ghost effect. Not really Pepper's Ghost, but just see-through screen. Now right now I'm using the one from my uh, aquarium, but I'm gonna go pick up one that you really cannot see, because you can see that. So we're gonna get one that you cannot see at all. Uh, maybe spray paint it silver or white. And then I'm gonna have a couple of lights in the background. It's gonna light up what's behind it, so you don't see the ghost. Without it, you see the projector go right through. With it, the contrast is there. Next, we have a super fine mesh, which you can just see right there, but you cannot see at all. We've got the Yamaha speaker with channel one. I don't, depending on what the weather looks like, we'll either do uh, two speakers or maybe four of them. Um, I gotta figure out how we're gonna do that part. But uh, yeah, so we'll have actually one speaker here, two, maybe, I don't know, I might just do two and keep it simple. Uh, and then maybe have an auxiliary over there. So you can see there with the screen, the floating ghost, as best as I could make it. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of, uh, there's a lot of reflection up there and I tried putting black, but then you just saw the black hanging over. So, yeah, we'll see how well this works. All right, and here it is. My Pepper's Ghost. With my animatronic that I made in the background there. Well, I'll modify the hell out of it, rather. And then you can see the animatronic's face. So, spookiness. So we're having her use the damn map. She's gonna be the statue, or the ghost, flying ghost thing. So we're gonna have right now. Here's the pumpkins. This is the ghost. We're gonna have window one and uh, the garage door on this side, and that's all gonna go into our chaos and then be mapped from there. So let's see. Here we go. You can see it. Okay. So now we're gonna modify one of the animatronics. This has a sensor. We remove the IR sensor. We're gonna modify the try me button to basically just trigger it so it's not gonna have to push it down. It'll be an actual latch versus a switch. And now, trigger one has been made. I'm running everything right now through our case and I'm using this trailer so that way God forbid it rains I can just shove everything back in quickly. What I did is I uh, added these. Uh, these are Cat 6 to VGAs but they're male Cat 6. They're permanently attached to the tails and the projectors will also have these permanently attached. So all we gotta do is run Cat 6 versus VGA cable or having to buy a VGA to Cat 6 adapter. These are passive, uh, not active so I get about maybe a couple hundred feet before I have any serious signal degradation. But that's more than plenty for me. Now, this at night this is gonna look like a hanging spider. Nothing really scary about it, but uh, it'll just be fun that when they try to grab candy, it just comes down. 
now, this is where the pumpkins are going to be. You can hear the pumpkins here. And the ghosts are going to be here. And then uh, I'm going to try to run a wireless audio and put a one of my loud Bluetooth speakers up there for this one. But the delay may be an issue and I really don't have time to set one up. So this may be skipped.